Hussein was found hiding in an underground crawl space at 8.26 p.m. Soldiers captured him without incident. Two other people were captured with Hussein, and soldiers confiscate approximately 750,000 U.S. currency. This is a significant event for the Iraqi people. The intimidation and fear this man generated for over 30 years are now gone. Many will rest much better tonight knowing Iraq is moving forward to a more secure environment actual um, mud huts and hole. Uh, we are doing a trip. Um, those of you who are interested, I need one individual from each agency to please meet me over at the white screen so we can discuss the details. Most of the embedded people already left the, the transmit. That's why they're not here to sign up. Can you give them a chance to sign, sign up after all? You can all? sign them up. Well, you can sign them up for you, for them right now. Uh, maybe I could, I don't know, I could do it later. I could have everybody meet back here. At <coughs> okay, change to my last statement. Because there are some people out um, filing their, their stories right now, uh, those who want to go on the yeah. trip tomorrow, yeah, meet back here in this room at uh, 9. <coughs> Uh, going in helicopters. It will be a consolidated group going out. Uh, we're not going to have anybody drive independently. So 9.30, back here tonight in this room. Thank you. Oh, tomorrow morning. The second uh, photo on the left shows you the area where there were two farmhouses, a farmer's field, there was a, a, a then a, a sheep's, de a sheep's uh, place where they had sheep stored, and then you see the hut in the middle where Saddam Hussein was hiding. It was very close to the Tigris River. We also found several boats on the other side of those tree lines uh, right along the river. As you move over further uh, to your right, You'll see that the, the place where he was uh, living at was basically two very small rooms in an adobe hut. One was a, a bedroom that was cluttered with uh, clothes, uh, some new t-shirts, socks, etc. that were in there, and some sandals. On the right was a very rudimentary kitchen that did have running water and a few other things. As you move, and you can see where the hole was where he was found hiding. As you again move over to the right, You'll see on the top there, although it is not exactly how it was, it was very smooth at the time, where that was covered with dirt. There was an insert that was made of styrofoam, so it was very light to pick up and pick up out of the hole, and on top of that was a rug. And then below that was, in fact, uh, the hole, as you see there. It was a very narrow hole that was not very big at all. From the time we've gotten here, we've started to collect intelligence on a lot of high-value targets to include Saddam Hussein. What we realized early on in the summer is that we believe the people we had to get to were the mid-level individuals, his bodyguards, and other people that we knew were closely associated with him. In addition, we knew it was always family and tribal ties. And so we tried to work through family and tribal ties that might have been close to Saddam Hussein. So there's a lot of people that were involved in this. As we continued to conduct raids and capture people, we got more and more information on the families that were somewhat close to Saddam Hussein. Over the last 10 days or so, we brought in about five to 10 members of these families
who then were able to give us even more information. And finally, we got the ultimate information from one of these individuals. Times, no vehicles. NBC, three vehicles. CNN, three.